A Tree Can Be, written by Judy Nayer and pictures by Anna Vojtek. A tree can be, what can a tree be? A tree can be a place to play. What are they playing? Hide and seek, maybe? She's got her little bear. A tree can be a place to rest. Yes, definitely can rest under a tree. A tree can be a place to hide. Play hide and seek and hide behind a tree. A tree can be oh, a place to nest. And I found a picture of a nest way, way, way up in this tree coming up. It's from the parking lot. See that nest up there? A tree can be a place to swing. And a tree can be a place to fly. A tree can be a place to climb. There's some raccoons They're climbing the tree. And a tree can be a place to stay dry. Who's using the tree to stay dry? A tree can be a place full of food. And there's the squirrels eating. And looks like there's gonna be a caterpillar that's eating a leaf from the tree. A tree can be full of sound. How would a tree be full of sound? Birds are singing. A tree is a place that is full of life. That is very true. See, the mushrooms are growing on the tree. And there's the chipmunk. And look, they even live under the tree. A tree changes all year round. Spring, summer, And then in fall, the leaves change color and fall off. And then in the winter, you have a bare tree. So it changes all year round. There are lots of parts of a tree. There's the branches and the leaves and the stems. There's buds on the tree and bark on the tree. And there's the trunk of the tree. And under the ground is the root of the tree. What can a tree be to you? What do you use the trees for?